Hello everyone and welcome to another anatomy video. This is Dr. Ayan from the Veterinary Anatomy channel. In this video we will start talking about the muscles of the hind limb and we will start with the muscles of the hip joint. So let's get started. So in this video we will dissect some of the muscles of the hip joint uh, starting with the rump muscles uh, including the superficial gluteal muscle, the middle gluteal muscle, the deep gluteal muscle, the piriformis muscle and the tensor muscle of the fascia lata. We have a lateral view of the hind limb of the dog. So we will start talking about the rump muscles. The rump muscles are the muscles which extends between the ilium and the femur bone or the thigh so here we are talking about uh, four different muscles the first one which we can see in this area here is the fascia uh, the tensor muscle of the fascia lata the tensor muscle of the fascia lata is triangular shaped muscle as you can see here if you dissect this muscle carefully you can divide it into two parts so this is one this is the second part as you can see this muscle originate from the tubercoxa so from the uh, this part of the ilium or from the coxal tuberosity and inserts if you follow the muscle exactly it inserts to the fascia lata so the fascia lata this you know fascia we, which we can see in this area if you dissect the fascia lata, so you can see that the fascia lata has also two layers. So the superficial layer, this layer here, and this is the other layer, the deep layer of the fascia lata. And as you can see, part of this muscle inserts with the superficial layer, while the other part of the uh, tensor muscle of the fascia lata inserts to the deep layer of the fascia lata. Again, the tensor muscle of the fascia lata originate from uh, the coxal tuberosity so let me show you exactly um, the coxal tuberosity if you look at this picture here so this is a lateral view of the pelvis of the dog here we have the ilium bone with the ilium with the wing of the ilium here in this area we have this tubercle here called the coxal tuberosity and this is the origin in this case of the tensor muscle of the fascia lata the insertion as we said before to the fascia lata as you can see here this muscle is innervated by the cranial gluteal nerves and uh, the function of this muscle is to flex as you can see here so contraction of this muscle will flex the hip joint contraction of the tensor muscle of the fascia lata will of course flex the hip joint as you can see here The next muscle which we can see here and belongs to the rump muscles uh, are the gluteal muscles. In general, in general, we have in the dog here three different uh, gluteal muscles. The superficial gluteal muscle, the middle gluteal muscle, and the deep gluteal muscle. So we will start with the first one, which is located superficially. Superficially, I will move the... the, uh, the um, Dog this direction here. So this one here, the superficial gluteal muscle. It's a thin muscle located just under the skin here in this area on the middle gluteal muscle. This superficial gluteal muscle originates from the sacrum and also from the gluteal fascia, which you can see here, the gluteal fascia found in this area. This is the origin of this muscle. The insertion of the superficial gluteal muscle is the greater to canter and is exactly the lateral surface of the greater to canter. So the superficial gluteal muscle, superficial gluteal muscle. This muscle is innervated by the caudal gluteal nerve and contraction of this muscle will extend actually the hip joint at the same time because of the origin and insertion of this muscle another function of this muscle is to elevate elevate uh, the hind limb and of course the main function is extension of the hip joint 
So this was the superficial gluteal muscle. Superficial gluteal muscle, this muscle here. Just under the superficial gluteal muscle, so the superficial gluteal muscle covers actually the caudal part of the other muscle which we can see under it here. This big muscle called the, the middle gluteal muscle. The middle gluteal muscle is a huge muscle originate from the wing of the ilium, from the wing of the ilium, and from the iliac crest. Let me show you the bone again. So if you look at the bone here again, we say that this is the ilium, this is the ilium, and this is the wing of the ilium. If you remember in one of uh, the videos which we um, talked about you know, previously, we said that the lateral surface of the wing of the ilium has what's called the gluteal fossa. The gluteal fossa in this case is the origin of the middle gluteal muscle. At the same time, the middle gluteal muscle originates from the iliac crest. This is the iliac crest here. The insertion of this muscle is again, if you follow the muscle, you will find that this muscle inserts to the greater trochanter to the greater trochanter of the femur bone. So let me also show you the femur bone here. So this is the normal location of the femur bone inside the body. And this muscle in this case, of course, here we have the head of the femur bone, the neck, and laterally we have the greater trochanter. So the insertion of this muscle is exactly on this point of the greater trochanter of the femur bone. So should we one more time show you exactly the original insertion of the middle gluteal muscle? It originates from the iliac crest, from the gluteal fossa, uh, yani that means from the wing of the ilium, and inserts on the greater trochanter of the femur bone. This is the middle gluteal muscle. The middle gluteal muscle is innervated by the cranial gluteal nerve, the, the cranial gluteal nerve, Contraction of this muscle will also extend the hip joint, extend the hip joint. So contraction of this muscle will extend the hip joint. Okay, now give me please just, you know, two minutes uh, to um, cut, dissect and cut the middle gluteal muscle and move it to the side so that we can see the deep gluteal muscle under it. So I'll see you soon. Okay, so we came back here, as I said before, I tried to dissect the superficial gluteal muscle and move it to the side. As you can see here, um, I told you that the superficial gluteal muscle inserts a little bit, so laterally on the greater trochanter, so if you follow the tendon of it, while the middle the gluteal muscle inserts directly to the greater trochanter here. So what we've done actually, we cut, you know, or we dissected the middle uh, gluteal muscle and uh, uh, now we can move it to the side as you can see here just under the middle gluteal muscle we can see this muscle here this muscle is the deep gluteal muscle the deep gluteal muscle if you look exactly uh, originates from the iliac shaft so from the body of the ilium and inserts to the greater uh, trochanter of the femur bone so let me also show you the origin of this muscle it originates from this area of the ilium, so the shaft of the ilium, and inserts, of course, as uh, we said before, to the greater uh, trochanter of the femur bone. Yeah, look exactly and compare between this one and that one here. Good. So the uh, innervation of this muscle, of course, by the cranial gluteal. Uh, and uh, the function of uh, this muscle is uh, also uh, to uh, extend the, the um, hip joint and uh, at the same time to elevate the hind limb, elevate the hind limb and extend the hip joint. So the deep gluteal muscle. Let me put the middle gluteal muscle one more time, its position here, it covers completely the deep gluteal muscle. So if you want to see the deep, you have to dissect the middle. And of course, uh, the superficial will cover both of them somehow caudally here. 
So here, to be able to see the next muscle, which is the deriformis muscle, in this case, we have to cut the middle gluteal muscle, as you can see here. We've done this and dissected the middle gluteal muscle up and down. Just under the middle gluteal muscle, in this case here, we can see this muscle here, the periformis muscle. The periformis muscle originates from the last sacral vertebra and the sacral tuberal ligament and inserts, as you can see here, to the uh, greater trochanter of the femur bone. Let me show you exactly the borders of this muscle. If you put something here, you can see how the muscle exactly comes from there and serves to the um, greater trochanter. Again, this muscle is also there for the uh, extension and elevation of the hind limb. Uh, this muscle, the bariformis muscle, is also innervated by a branch that comes from the cranial gluteal nerve. The bariformis muscle. I will move the hind limb a little bit like this to show you exactly how the muscle looks like. The bariformis muscle. Mm-hmm.